Okay, so what you're first going to want to do here is you're going to create planes, okay? And you're going to want to do this in your left view here. So you're going to drag out one single plane. And you'll notice here, let me maximize this, that, remember maximize is right down here, maximize viewport toggle. You'll notice that you have a 4x4 four four plane, and we want to get rid of that. We don't want it to be 4x4, four four, we want it to be 1x1. One one. So I'm going to go to Modify, Link Segments 1, Width Segments 1. So now it's 1x1x1, one by 1x1, one by one, uh, one one, pardon me. Last but not least, now all we got to do is rotate this, okay? Because we need, we've got our left side, now we need our front. So I'm going to hit R, or pardon me, E. I'm going to hold Shift, and on this X axis here, I'm going to rotate. Until it says 90 degrees. You see those numbers right there? I'll see it, and it'll say 90 degrees just like that. I'm going to name this front. And I'm going to name this one left. It's good to name your objects so you know which ones they are. Now what I'll have, and I'm going to switch to solid or to solid view, is that. Okay? That's what you should end up with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rotate this so that I have my top view. So I'm going to hit L, I'm going to hold shift, and this time on the Y axis, oops, I'm going to rotate downward here. I'm going to name this top. And that's what you should end up with right there. Now, the, the actual sizes of the car if I remember right, is 190 um, is the width that it is, or the length. The height is 32 and, no, no, the height is 46 inches and the width is 32. Make sure you write that down because you're going to need that. But what we got to do right now is we need this to be in inches. So I'm going to go to Customize, Unit Setup, and I'm going to select US Standard with feet with fractional inches and hit OK. So now this right here has changed to inches. And so the length for this one here is going to be 190 inches. Okay? And the width is going to be 32 inches. Now notice that as soon as I put in 32 inches, it's going to put what that actually is in feet. So don't sit there and try to do the math, you know, don't don't waste that kind of time. Now what I'll have is that right there. Now unfortunately that's not the one that I wanted it to do to. I want the width to be 190 inches and I want the length to be 32 inches. There we go. That's correct. I'm going to do the same thing for this one too. This one the length is going to be 46 inches and the width is going to be 190 inches. That's what you have so far. Last but not least the height should be 46 inches. The width should be 32 inches. Make sure that's right. See, that's nice and right there. And that's what you should end up with right there. It should look just like that. Now, let me flip these around here so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Just going to mirror, and I'm just flipping my mirrors here. And that's what it should look like right there. Okay? That's, this is um, halfway through step one. Now what we got to do is I need to create a half box. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one back. And I'm going to move this one down. And I'm going to move this one over. And that's what you should get right there is that half box. Okay? Now, there you go. That's basically, that's part one done. Part two, we're going to put in the materials, okay? So to put in the materials, what we're going to do is we're going to hit M, okay? But we're going to start that on our next portion here. I'm going to pause this.